So you're building a gaze-controlled robot. Uh, yeah. So our project is basically a gaze-controlled uh, robot for uh, quadriplegic patients. The idea behind the project is that we want quadriplegic patients to have the ability to move in the way they want to without anybody's help. So how this project works is there's a wheelchair on which the camera is mounted. On the basis of where the person looks, the wheelchair will move accordingly in that direction. I'll give you a small demo and then I'll talk more about it. Okay, and for, for purposes of, of the demo, the, the wheelchair is a, is a, a is, model. Yeah, yeah, this is a small prototype of our wheelchair. And uh, since we cannot connect the camera here, he'll be having a camera onto his head mount. So the signal will be transferred from his head mount. And uh, accordingly, wherever he looks, the wheelchair will move in that direction. In, in a production model, of course, the, the head-mounted display, the computer, and the, uh, and the control system would all be on one platform yes. so, that, so that it would be controllable. So the I, uh, main innovative idea behind this project is that uh, there will be nothing connected to the patient. So uh, he will be free from, so since uh, nothing will be connected, the we, uh, webcam will be in front of, connected to the wheelchair. Oh, I see, just sort of hung in front of the face. So, yes. So the, re the, so the systems which are available right now in the market are where uh, the cheek is used or the tongue of a patient is used. But it's really annoying for a patient to have something wired up to him. The, uh, the novelty in the system lies that the person does not have to wear anything. Okay, attached to the board. so the helmet you're, you're holding here is, is sort of a model of something that's attached to the wheelchair. Yes. yes. And so <clears throat> you're going to move your head relative to the, yes. to the aha, okay. So, so this, is, this is the debug screen where I'm just showing my eyes. It just uh -huh. detects my eyes, the MATLAB program. Yes. And then what I do is, for example, when I look in the left side, you're showing it? Okay. Yeah. And my, my wheelchair will uh, move on the left side after that? Yeah. Yeah, so you're moving, you're looking left and it's moving and left. And it should move yeah. left. I yeah. move right back to my original position and it stays there because I'm just... So after moving left, when you want to move again to another direction, you will return to your original uh, standard position. position. So we are neglecting that signal. Because after moving left, you come back to the original position. So we need to neglect that direction. Okay. So now we now move, move right. Straight. Okay. Move straight. straight. So there's a left movement. Is so here, for a, right for a valid uh, straight movement, what we are doing is that the person will first look towards left and then towards right. That okay. means in that simultaneous signals, it will detect as a straight signal. Okay. So I to show this. So what I'm, what we are doing here is, it's constantly looking at the coordinates of the left eye and the right eye based on the, so basically it just saves the feature points of the of both the eyes in every snapshot the previous snapshot is compared with the next snapshot mm -hmm. based on which a decision is made whether to move right or move straight and we are basically showing uh, i mean a de on the debug screen how the motor should be moved and how the eyes moved mm -hmm. so basically uh, what we are trying to do over here is very simple we are trying to uh, propose a system where all the person does is looks left, looks right, and looks straight according to which the wheelchair is moving. Also, what we what could be done in the future is, um, you know, the person kind of controls with his blinks if he wants to turn on a light in the house. If he wants to turn off, uh, turn on, uh, so unlock, can, so unlock. So you can machines. easily detect blinks. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. So with that blink system, we can. Uh, add more functionality like a sudden break for example also to switch on the system and to switch off the system for example when a person wants to just stay there and just look around you don't need the system to be working at that time so we can have uh, like for two blinks the system will switch on with three blinks the switch, uh, system will switch off so like that more functionality could be added which will give an advantage to the person also also one more thing what we have done over here is safety of the system is very important so if you saw that, if I, when I looked left, it took a while to actually recognize a valid left. The reason being, I don't want the motor to move immediately. The person shouldn't get a jerk if he doesn't want to move left immediately. What about stopping? Because <clears throat> things happen quickly, and how, how can you stop quickly? Using blinks. I mean, uh, it, the very simple uh, protocol has to be maintained in terms of, for example, if we set turn on the system with the help of three blinks. Turn off the system with the help of three blinks. After which, if the person does not want to move, have four blinks and never the motors will move. 
So you can you can uh, have a have a sheet where the you know the person no, probably person would understands. Lead, would, would 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 learn that. Yes. Would learn that up. So yeah. you can train accordingly to the patient, and the patients can if you if the patient wants, we can improvise all the functions depending upon the patient. So that would be okay. Done. Also, what one more thing we try to uh, add in the safety feature is the, how the eyes are being detected is the length and the height of the eyes being matched. With what is told. So what happens is if somebody is coming in a video frame who is not the patient, for example, oh, it does not detect it because we have calibrated the length and height of the eyes okay. according to how the patient is. Can uh, can I see the the video debug screen again there with it on your yeah. face? Yeah. This is the video debug. I'll show. I'll play it again. So now it's frozen because it's not quite. Yes. Yeah. It's not right. right. Put it to run again. So it's constantly taking this snapshots. Yeah. Okay, so But it does not need all of this because it's programmed for the height and the width. So even if he shows some irregular eyes, it won't be taking that into account. The reason being the length and height of the eye has been fixed as a threshold. Okay, but it certainly is getting your eyes much yeah. of the time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and it's it's been designed in a way that even if it gets one of the eyes from both of them, even still it works as efficiently as it has to. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you.